Hey everybody, this is the Fairy Vibrant Makeup Channel and I'm going to do a take two test of the Scylla sponge. I, if you remember my other video on the test of the L'Oreal Infallible uh, Total Coverage Foundation, I did use this to see how it would do. That foundation, from what you've seen in that video, is not my favorite foundation, so I wanted to test this on a foundation that I know and trust, and let's get into it. Alright, so I'm going to prime my skin same as I did with the other foundation because this is what I normally prime or I use my um, Lorac mattifying. So I'm using the Cover FX mattifying and acne treatment because my skin is breaking out really bad. I will also use my Fresh FX by Olay. Add a little bit of more moisture and also help with my... Uh, acne as well. It reduces uh, redness so and then of course my uh, Benefit Perfection or Professional and putting it, I'm going to put some on my chin putting it in the areas where I need more pore coverage and I'm pressing it into my skin. Now that I'm prepped I am going to use and I did clean my Beauty Blender, uh, my Real Techniques Beauty Blender, to try the other side. Just to show you, this is typically what I use together with my Urban Decay foundation. And then I'm going to use the Scylla spon sponge on the other half of the face. I have broken out quite extensively because of my hormonal breakouts. Oily skin, it just happens. I will never have clear skin at this point, I feel. But uh, yeah, I do what I can. Alright, so using the Urban Decay All Nighter... I'm going to apply this half of my face with the Scylla sponge, this half of my face with the Real Techniques Beauty Blender. So I've put one layer of the uh, foundation on and I'm putting a little bit of a second layer like a like a half a pump of the second layer so that I can um, kind of make sure everything is covered and yeah this foundation you can layer my the total coverage you can't layer that's what it seems like so I've put all my foundation as I usually do on this half of the face now it's time to do this half of the face with the Scylla sponge So I have applied the foundation with the Scylla sponge. It does apply it a little bit sheer than um, my Real Techniques. It seems to go on okay with my favorite foundation. It almost makes the coverage look a lot well lighter but a little bit more natural. And it does kind of, it doesn't pick up product, of course won't soak up the product, but it does kind of uh, leave the product all over the sponge, making the sponge dirty, but you can just wipe it off. It is kind of hard to get into these little crevices in my nose, because it starts streaking it up when I work it in there. It's not bad. It's actually more mattifying than it is with the Real Technique sponge. So using the sponge on my face, I'm able to kind of shear it out a little bit. Sorry, I have to get my neck. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I kind of I kind of like the finish. It's not bad. Let's test to see how it does with my concealer, which is the Tarte. Um, this is going to be the Shape Tape in Fair. And by the way, I am a 3.5 in the Urban Decay All Nighter. So here is the Beauty Blender part, and over here is the sponge. It is a little bit patchy, but that's probably because I didn't pounce it in more. I feel 
like if you pounce it a little bit more on top, you seem to get a better finish. It looks a lot better. The only thing is, is if you do hit your face with these edges, it will create streaks and lines. So it didn't do too bad on the concealer portion. All right, so now I'm gonna set my face as per usual. I'm just taking my uh, airspun powder and doing one under my eyes. I just wanna see how topping powders would look if it will like when you do your uh, foundation and then sometimes after it what you do not a so good job at ap applying it you kind of see your your mistakes shown through when you do set your makeup I, I mean I find that with my makeup if I mess up like that that's what happens all right so now setting the rest of my face with my airspun powder I love my airspun powder. I think I need to get another one because I did not like the RCMA powder. So they fell on the back of me. Um, I didn't like the RCMA powder. I honestly don't really care for it. I like my airspun powder. It's just me. So I'm just kind of setting my face like I usually do. And I'll zoom in and see if there's any uh, mistakes that are showing up. So far so good. This both sides set pretty good, except this side is a lot sheerer than this side. So this one's a little bit more airbrushed. This side is not as airbrushed, and then I do have more flaws on this side. So I wanted to see if it would have uh, covered them. You still see signs and kind of like some of my flaws and breakouts peeking through. On this side, it is much better because it looks more even and softer. I don't know, That's the, this is the Beauty Blender side and this is the uh, silicone sponge. All right, so makeup went on pretty well. Blush, uh, highlight, everything went on pretty well. It's not bad, it's not my favorite because I'm, I guess it's just, you know, trying new products, you were always like, no, I like what I was using before, but, um, and I do like my uh, sponge, I just hate having to clean them all the time and having to wring it out and then it stains, especially that last foundation that I did a test on, it like left a uh, thick film on it so now I have to like really scrub it. But this is starting to crack and tear already, I've been using it extensively. Um, I don't mind it, it's not bad, I like when I have, I don't know, if it's just me, I like my personal opinion when I have uh, wrung this out and it's kind of like a damp feeling and then when you're pressing your foundation on top it feels like kind of refreshing a little bit. This won't give you that but at the same time I feel like you can actually mix your foundations if you do like do foundation adjustments you can mix it on top and then just kind of like blend it into your skin um this is a lot cleaner i think this would be a lot more sterile than this guy um i'm not sure what's in a Scylla sponge I'm guessing it's just like whatever bra inserts made out of i guess uh but it's not bad it didn't irritate my skin my skin's already broken out as it is so i have breakouts um, it covered okay. Did a pretty good job. I want to see when I finish my face if that disturbs the way the application was. And I'm using my, uh, I need more, my Miracle Mist from Pure Minerals. I like this stuff because it's refreshing and hydrating, especially in the dry winter months in Colorado. It helps me kind of keep my skin hydrated. All right, so I did not notice any difference or distortion in the makeup application, because I know sometimes when I do my brush, it comes off streaky, and then when I apply my powder, finish my face, it looks worse than what it did. That's only if I'm using a really bad brush. I usually use like a flat kabuki from MARC. Um, I used to sell Avon two years ago, so um, I liked that stuff because it, it it was affordable, well, pretty affordable, but it was pretty nice. Um, hmm. Overall thoughts, I really don't see much of a difference between these two, except this does apply a little bit more sheer. Um, as far as hy hygienic 
wise it, I think this is more hygienic than this one because this will kind of soak up the product and any bacteria that is coming off your face I know that sounds gross but it is very true um, I do kind of like this I think I will use it most I mean I do like it as an application for my foundation but I really do like it for my under eye because I'm able to get in those little corners right here and just kind of be able to uh, you know maneuver it a little bit better my concealer looks pretty good actually with the application of the Sola sponge um this one does a good job but i feel like if it's too damp it starts like kind of picking up my product and then it'll soak it up a lot faster so um would i replace my the big question is would i replace my real technique sponge maybe i don't know yet i really have to play with this a lot more um, I do like it a lot. Um, at this moment in time, my thoughts are that I could replace my Real Techniques Beauty Blender with this guy because this I would not have to throw out. And this is kind of a, a little bit more affordable. Um, I know that a lot of beauty brands, I think this Beauty Blender, the big, the original Beauty Blender brand is coming out with a silicone type of little uh, soft wedge thing I think so um, if you like that silicone if you try it for yourself it's not bad it's pretty good I'm just wondering now that I have because I usually do this I've been doing this a lot lately I've been applying my Lime Crime Diamond Crushers this is the shade Lit and I've been using it as a highlight and inner corner I'm wondering if I can apply it with this guy so what I usually do is put it on the back of my hand before it dries and then I'll just kind of do that let me see what it looks like because maybe this will be a lot easier than applying it with my finger no it does still leave it a little streaky can you see that just a little bit I think with my finger it's a little bit better yeah because I'm able to rub it in I don't know because this stuff you have to work really fast it's not bad at applying it. Let me see if I can get in there in my inner corners and just kind of like, because I like putting it on my inner corners. I like putting it on my cupid's bow for some reason. It's just the look I've been going for lately. So I'm going to see. It does get in there. Oop. See, yeah, kind of got on my nose a little bit. Okay, I probably would not apply it with that silicone because I just smudged my lipstick. No, I think I'll just stick to my fingers and small brushes. It didn't do a bad job, but it still is not what I'm going to typically go for in applying my lip uh stuff as a highlighter or inner corner shade. So yeah, that is my overall thoughts. I really think this is nice because you can just wipe it off and you don't have any excess product on that. You can clean it with just maybe some soap and just wipe it off and disinfect it really easy. Uh, uh, this one I go through a lot. I usually have three in rotation, but I have had to throw one out. This is going to be, this one looks like it's okay for a few more uses. My other one is about to die, so I think I need to throw that one out as well. I have two backups. I always carry backups of this. But I think I'm going to see how long this will go. So I will update you on my Instagram. Um, and maybe I'll do an update video, I'm not quite sure yet, on how much of this I've used and how much money I've saved using this. Because I feel like this could be a money saver. So if you're in the market for something cheap and something affordable and not have to go through these so much, I would probably suggest trying this out. So yeah, let's see how that goes. I will keep you posted. Um, I will have try it series type of update videos so that you guys can see that it's just, you know, not try it once and then yeah, I'm done with it. No, I want you to know that I'm using it extensively and that I will uh, research more on it and have a kind of like an update video in like two to three months from the try it video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. Thumbs up if you can and stay tuned for my next video. Bye!